Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Thanks for tuning in. So there's been an update for PixInsight. It is now version 1.8.8-9, and you can head over to PixInsight.com and uh, download that new version. You have to uninstall your uh, current version and then install the new version in order to do this update. And uh, uh, I kind of wish there was a, a better way to do that, an easier way to do it without an uninstalling and reinstalling, but Nonetheless, that's how you got to do it. So um, the updates uh, to the new version have been detailed in the form on the PixInsight we uh, website. Uh, if I just uh, switch uh, screens here real quick. So this is uh, the form post that Juan uh, made and he details the uh, some of the uh, improvements, the main improvements with uh, the new version of PixInsight and also uh, goes into some of the uh, bug fixes and, and so forth. Um, what really caught my attention was um, the uh, separate CFA channel alignment feature. This is actually really interesting. So what this is going to do is specifically for one shot color uh, imagers. Um, so when you are dealing with uh, color fringing of your stars, uh, chromatic aberration, so you've got uh, the, the color channels are not aligning correctly and you can maybe see uh, on the outside edges some uh, some of the uh, color, different colors appearing. So it could be blue maybe or it could be red or green. Uh, it all depends on how the, uh, the optics of your telescope are focused focusing that light. So if you have color fringing on the stars, this new uh, feature, the separate CFA channel alignment, can actually correct that. Now, it's probably not going to be 100% because um, it, it depends on the, the the severity of your color fringing uh, that's occurring in your images. But uh, I would probably guess for most uh, imagers out there and, and most situations, it'll probably work rather nicely. So I played around with it a little bit just to uh, see what it was like before I recorded this video. Um, just to give you a, a little, you know, quick sort of look at it. And uh, uh, we can go into more depth in it, of course, uh, on another video. But um, I just wanted to give you a little peek. So basically what you're looking at here um, this is the original uh, file the original image uh, the master light for this data set uh, I just zoomed in on a star here so that we could look at it and we can see some color fringing occurring on the star right here it has a, a bit of a bluish tinge to it on the outside edges um, I wasn't able to call up any data real quick that had bad color fringing um, I'm using an Esprit 100 telescope uh, for this data set here and it uh, it's pretty good with regards to color fringing it, it isn't that bad so um, I was actually having a hard time coming up with a, uh, a better representation of color fringing but this is the best I could do for this uh, quick video here so um, you can see the color fringing occurring but if you look at over here um, the the image on the right so this has had the CFA channel alignment the new uh, uh, channel alignment feature applied to it and um, it uh, worked pretty well. So you can see the uh, the blue fringing that's apparent on the uh, edge of the star in this image is no longer present um, in this image. So it actually is pretty effective and I thought it was pretty neat. So you can do this. Um, this is available to you uh, if you're doing your image uh, alignment uh, integration and uh, and so forth manually. Um, it is also available in the new updated uh, weighted batch preprocessing script as well. They've added it into that so it takes care of everything for you. You don't have to do it all manually which is really cool. I use the weighted batch preprocessing script uh, quite often. It's uh, it's a really great script. Uh, works really well. Excellent tool within PixInsight to uh, calibrate and align and uh, stack all your images. So if you haven't been using it, uh, give it a try. I should also mention too that you can use drizzle with this new CFA channel alignment feature and uh, you can actually uh, uh, drizzle so you can create separate uh, drizzle images of the red green and blue and you can combine those drizzle images into one master uh, color image um, so if you're dealing with if you look at the uh, I'll just go back here to my uh, screen if you look at the stars in this image here they're not uh, not terrible but maybe a little undersampled uh, they got a little bit of uh, that blocky look to them so drizzling will fill in the missing information and uh, 
make the stars look more round and, and smooth looking, uh, just better stars overall. And uh, that uh, drizzle capability can be used in conjunction with this new CFA channel alignment feature, which is really awesome. So if you go up to script batch pre-processing and weighted batch pre-processing, it'll open the, uh, the WBPP as it's also known. And I have uh, this set up already because uh, I was working with it, uh, as I had mentioned. So uh, I've got my lights put in. I just threw some lights in real quick, some lights, flats, and uh, darks and, and dark flats. And um, under the calibration window, uh, if you click on lights, you can get your, uh, you know, your standard calibration settings and stuff. But we're looking for this new uh, CFA channel alignment feature. And you'll find it under the post process tab. Now under the post process tab, you'll see here post process configuration and the DeBear method. So you can actually uh, choose, you can create a combined RGB master light, or you can separate the channels out into uh, separate red, green, and blue channels, or you can combine and separate. You can do both. Uh, whichever you want to choose. So if you wanted to test it out, if you have some data that you want to test it out on, choose the combine and separate. Um, I just went with the separate RGB channels to create uh, a red, green, and a blue channel so that I could uh, experiment with it. Everything else with regards to the way to batch pre-processing uh, script is, is still the same, uh, but this new uh, feature has been added to it, which is really great. So once you've selected, once you've set this up under the post process tab, um, the uh, separate RGB channels to be created, uh, you just run the WBPP script and it will produce your separate images for you. Now, if I just uh, call these up real quick, so I'll just go down and open the folder here where I outputted this to. So I just called it uh, WBPP2 because I already had a WBPP folder, but um, it outputs, these are the folders that the uh, weighted batch pre-processing script outputs. And uh, inside your master, uh, you've got the uh, separate channels. So here's the blue channel, the green channel, and the red channel. And what I did was I brought these channels, opened these channels in PixInsight on the workspace. We can see them in the background here. Okay, so I brought those in to PixInsight and I uh, opened the channel combination tool, which was under process uh, uh, channel, where is it here? I uh, just got to find, there it is, uh, color spaces channel combination. Okay, so I opened that tool. I added, uh, I left it in uh, the RGB color space, added in my uh, uh, red, green, and blue uh, masters, and I clicked apply and it produced this uh, master light for me with uh, all of the uh, channels combined. So we can see that uh, it works really well. Um, it's a great new feature. Uh, encourage you to check it out. Try it on your, uh, your data sets and uh, see what you think. Uh, improve your star quality and uh, the, the appearance of the stars. Get uh, minimized at least or, or get rid of the uh, color fringing completely is uh, a possibility. So um, that's a really great addition to the new version of uh, PixInsight, which has come out. Just wanted to give you that quick update, uh, let you guys know uh, about it. And uh, hopefully uh, future videos here, I can uh, get into some of the other uh, uh, improvements in this uh, latest version. Okay, thanks for again for tuning in and uh, welcome to the new subscribers uh, getting a lot of new subscribers and that's fantastic really appreciate that don't forget to like and comment if you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing if you found this video uh, helpful useful and check out my other uh, videos a lot of pics insight videos and uh, other stuff related to astrophotography okay we'll see you again real soon take care everyone and clear skies